Beloved, sometimes in life we need not speak. You know, when someone comes to us with an issue in their life, you know, many times I believe that the Lord don't desire for us to actually give them an answer, but rather, rather to hear them out and then pray for them. Because not everybody that comes to you with an issue in their life needs a counselor for you to counsel them. But beloved, we live in a society today that everybody feel as though they got to put in their two cents. Uh, people believe that they have to give advice on everything. And just uh, think about it, even the, the pundits today, the way they speak and they're not even controlling their words and not knowing that the Word of God says that we will be judged by the words that we speak. And so we have to be very careful of the things that we say, that we allow to come out of our mouths, beloved. You know, the Word of God says, uh, from the heart comes the issues of life. Uh, you know, and I heard someone say, you know, uh, watch what you speak and how you speak. Because a person might think you're a fool. But if you say something, then there's a possibility you will remove all those doubts away. You know, and so beloved, you know, we really need to be mindful when we speak and what we uh, speak and share on. And I, I'm saying that because what the Word of God says, and another uh, thought on Moses that many of us probably did not know, and I wasn't even aware of, that Moses never spoke to Pharaoh because God told him that in the beginning, he wanted him to speak to Pharaoh, but because he said he couldn't speak, he couldn't talk right, and he wasn't equipped to speak before Pharaoh, he said, let your brother Aaron will be uh, the one who speaks to Pharaoh. The Word of God says in Exodus, the 7th chapter, 2nd verse, look what the, it says, Thou shalt speak all that I command thee, God says, and... And Aaron, thy brother, get this, shall speak unto Pharaoh that he send the children of Israel out of his land. Amen. So it would be Aaron that will be doing the speaking uh, after Moses would tell Aaron what to say. You know, as God told Moses, you will be a God to Pharaoh, and uh, Aaron will be your prophet, Moses. Aaron would be your prophet. He would be your word in the earth. Just like today, beloved, those who share God's word and share God's word in truth, they are prophetic voices in the earth. And there is a distinct difference between that which is prophetic and that which is not of God. Amen? And the Lord desire for us to know that and see that. And it will become so, di uh, uh, so evident in the days that we are living now and the days to come when God is separating his sheep from his, from the goats. Um, the perfect example of this is when we would uh, and, and we used to do that as children, you know, we, we had, we raised pigs. And there was a certain sound that we had to say uh, or speak that dad had uh, developed in order to call the pigs to the trough. And he would say, shoo pig, shoo pig. And I mean, they could be way down the pasture when they heard that they came running to the trough. And I remember us testing that one time, uh, not saying exactly what Dad said, you know, when we, when we would feed the pigs, but we would try something else. And you know what? 
those pigs would never come until we use the words that dad had developed in calling the pigs to the trough. That voice, that voice, that word, that word, that word. And so, beloved, in these latter days, there will be many words that is given. But you will have to know the distinctive sound of the prophetic voice that is in the earth today. You are accountable for that, beloved, because God has given you ears to hear. Amen? So, beloved, that way we all know, and that way we will realize what God is saying in these latter days. Beloved, may our good Lord bless you, and may he keep you throughout this day in Jesus' name.